growing up in Oakland, it, it's a real task. People shooting, bullets come my way, people shooting at me. And... Oh, don't go to Oakland, don't go to Oakland. You know, that's, you'll get shot, you'll get shot. You gotta wake up and find out that one of your partners is dead. We had like 114 murders in the last year. And I mean, we just lost two people back to back. It has young people scared to just walk down the street. I'm surprised that I made it to 19. All this dying ain't even necessary though. You know, just seeing his body there, you know, I walked right into the morgue, happened to see my brother with a whole bunch of holes in his head. My brother's death was the first funeral I'd been to. But after that, I haven't cried since I was like five years old. He was actually killed by an Oakland police officer. One night, when Ron was shot. He was shot, you know what I'm saying, on Apgar and Market in West Oakland. Taz was shot two months later. And it's like, you know, why? It was a Sunday when we found out about it. We just came home from church. That was like the first death I experienced, really. I mean, that was family. We did damn near everything together, you know what I'm saying? LeRon and Taz, when they died, like, it was just all bad. This is a dedication to those lost in the struggle. The song that I did for my little cousin, I just felt like I had to, I had to put something out there. You know what I'm saying? Man, dog, can't believe you're gone. Fast lane, that's like what happened. So wrong, so wrong. So my wrong. man Randy, who spits the first verse on dedication, his cousin had just got killed. But he's like, uh, we're doing this song, me and Randy, and um, it's like a dedication. It's like an R.I.P. song. And it was like, hey, we're doing a song called Dedication. I was like, wow, like, what, what's that about? It's like, we dedicating songs to all the loved ones that we passed. I said, wow, I'm, well, I'm perfect for that song. It's just basically talking about times that me and him had, you know, just reminiscing on stuff. I think it's probably some anger building up inside me somewhere or something like that, but a lot of it come out in my music. So that's a good thing. My whole point of view on it, you know, the love that I had for him. So basically Chameleon got involved, AK got involved, and then, you know, I got myself involved. Ron Tad, Dacia Thomas, Lil Thomas, Brittany, and my boy Christian, I know y'all still with me. Y'all didn't deserve to die, I can't explain the madness. All I know was when y'all died, man, it was tragic. Yo, who are records? I mean, we just basically a record coming there promote positivity. An Oakland nonprofit that harnesses young talent to actually run a record business. Youth Movement Records, combining social activism with business and making it work. What can I say? Yes, I ain't been through it all. I ain't been through it all. I almost hit my damn wall. What can I say? Cause I didn't been through it all. I've been shot at and stabbed, but I still stand tall. It's a youth-run recording company. And if you want to learn about the behind-the-scenes processes, like, you know, how to set up for a show, how to promote, how to do everything, you gotta come to YMR, you know what I'm saying? YMR, it's a place for kids to come be creative instead of staying on the streets and selling drugs and committing crimes and being violent, you know? When I came to the Bay, I didn't really know anybody. YMR really helped me out, made me feel like a family. Yeah, YMR might not be making you no money compared to what you might be doing on the streets, but then at YMR, you don't have to worry about your head getting blown off. So you can make a decision. America, the beautiful. I'm about to go to the military this month on the 23rd. The military offers the money, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of volunteering at the box, you know what I mean? I need money, you know what I'm saying? I live in a crack house, so you know what I'm saying? I gotta get up out of here. Thank you.